Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're here in Transport Fever 2 once again, though this time slightly differently, as you may be able to tell from the title of the video. Uh, I have been um, messing around with the game for a few weeks now, uh, as you hopefully will have seen uh, through my Get to Know video series, just having a look at all the features, the new enhancements and all the general good stuff and changes, some of which well, we're, you know, holding judgment on, but hopefully they will pan out as we get into playing the game for real. So yeah, rather than just messing about trying to learn and understand stuff, today is the start of my very first Transport Fever 2 Let's Play series. And as mentioned in the sort of intro episode I did a little while ago for creating the map for this series, it's based upon a modded map by a lovely fellow by the name of Specialist Zero. And you'll find the description, sorry, the link to his uh, map in the in the description below. Um, I have modified it a little bit, as you saw in the map creation video, and I've also made a couple of other small adjustments before we start playing the game. But we'll look at those in a moment. So let's first off just set the scene, shall we? So just to let you know, um, I am still playing this on my old computer. Uh, if you may know, if you've been following me for a little bit now, um, I have been eager to get a new computer for a while just so I can play games in in their full graphical glory and able to support large maps and so on lots and lots of agents which my old computer couldn't so end game performance for me has always been an issue that computer hasn't turned up yet so I'm starting this game a week or two before I'll be able to, to sort of run it on the new computer uh, so hopefully when that arrives the game will carry over and it will look so much more fabulous than it does today but well we shall wait and see anyway this is my basic setting so you've got an idea of the graphical quality that I'm uh, playing at uh, 1920 1080 of course um, I've had to set my textures to low because I've only got two gigabyte of graphics memory, so that will work. I could possibly set it higher, but who knows what chaos might ensue if I did that. I have very little idea what any of these other settings actually mean in terms of gameplay. I'm no expert on this sort of stuff, so that's where we are. I've made a couple of changes to the controls. Uh, the main one being I was so used to using page up and page down for setting the track road building height in Transport Fever 1. Uh, when they changed it in the defaults for Transport Fever 2 to comma and full stop, uh, I no, that doesn't work for me. I'm sorry, guys. I had to change it. So I've changed those back to page up and page down. So those are the keys I'll be using. I've explained this in one or two other get to know v videos, as you may have already seen. So that's my settings. The map. Let's get into free game. We are playing the Bristol Extra map created by, as I said, Specialist Zero. I've made some modifications to it, stripped out a few towns um, because, as you'll see, it's very busy in Bristol. Yeah, that goes without saying. If you, if you know the city at all, busy is a word you would apply to it. Uh, I'm going to be using medium difficulty uh, on the hope that there is um, a real challenge and a risk of me going bankrupt. Um, for the time being, I'm not using any mods in the game. I will build up, as we go into it, uh, use of more and more mods to create a more specifically British um, sort of uh, map world in which we're playing. So lots more UK based uh, assets and vehicles will be coming into play. Um, now the map was created with the sandbox mode so I will not be earning achievements in this game. Yeah, big deal to be honest. I don't play for achievements, I play for the fun of it. So let's get the Bristol map started. So here we are in Bristol Extra and uh, as you uh, will have seen if you watch the uh, Create the Map episode I did to introduce this series uh, about a week or so ago, um, I have stripped out a number of the towns that were initially placed around the Bristol area. Um, I mean those places do exist and Bristol is a mass of small communities, um, villages, um, suburbs, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I've stripped that, but I've stripped that out for the game just to make it easier to sort of manage traffic and stations. Now, one thing I have done since I recorded that uh, Create the Map video is I've actually taken away the demands for two, I think three of the suburb, suburb areas uh, of the city. Now, we kind of discussed this a bit um, on my Get to Know video about limiting town development. And one comment on there was, um, if you actually take away 
the cargo demands, you don't. You, could you? Could that be a way of limiting the town growth? And that kind of makes sense to me because if we compare, say, St Paul's here with Easton, the the uh, the cargo demands can actually increase the demand for residences in the city. It increases the growth potential of that that sec that area um, of of your town. The trouble is, I'm calling Bristol as a whole as a city, but Easton is not a city. Easton is a a part of Bristol. I'll call it a town, shall I? See if that's a useful distinction. So, by miss it, by losing those potential growth drivers, will I be able to limit the growth of places like St Paul's, like Kingsdown, and Clifton was the other one. So we're treating these basically as wholly residential areas. They're not. If we go into Clifton, we will see get that out of the way, get my land overlay down here. The buildings haven't gone. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if they do eventually sort of disappear over time because there is nothing, no demand there. In fact, if I put down, try to put down a bus stop, bus stop, that's the one you want. Yep, you see there are no demands at all there in Clifton, whereas, of course, here in Brandon Hill, we do see a demand for tools and machines. So it's going to be interesting to see what that does to the growth of those three areas of my town. Now what I'm going to do in this first episode is attempt to set up the core routes for the centre of Bristol itself. So we're setting up our first train station, Bristol Temple Meads, um, and uh, a few of the key routes to connect all these uh, suburbs of Bristol, the city centre, together. Uh, and of course some of our outlying towns, uh, Brislington, Canesham, uh, Bath of course is our other big city around here. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to leave it in pause for a moment and just see if we can set up some basic lines. I'm starting with my loan of five million. What can I afford? Let's start with a train line, shall we? We want to set up um, Temple Meads. We'll have two tracks as a minimum. If we set it up as a 160 metre platform length, is that going to be enough for now? It will be. Of course, Bristol Temple Mead, Temple Mead is a through station, so it will want to go out. So I may need to dig under Kingswood to get out um, or just drive straight through it. We could attempt to go out that way. Should we try? Let's see, what's the pricing do here? So that's, uh, can we make it any cheaper? That's the cheapest there. It's a very, very hilly area. If any of you know this part of the world, um, Bristol, I think, is actually surrounded by seven hills, or so the legend goes. Or is that Rome? Or it could be both. Okay, quit prevaricating. Let's set this station down, shall we? They up, job done. Okay, we also need a station in Bath. Uh, that will be Bath, uh, Bath Spa, of course, um, which is actually down this side of the city. It's towards the, the south. And actually, that's quite a good thing. If we can keep the train stations away from the residential areas, um, the impact of emissions should be reduced somewhat. Again, we've got an issue here with hills, and again, Bath is surrounded by hills. Uh, if I use page up and page down, can I get a better price on this? No, not at all. That's probably the best I'm going to do. I don't like it being so high. I'm going to have to place it here, I think. So it's nearer the ground. So how am I going to get... There is a station at Oldfield Park. Now, I'm not playing this map um, as historically accurate. So I'm not going to attempt to recreate any genuine lines apart from a few sort of basic ones that work within the context of the game. If I put Bath Spa here, that's not too expensive, is it? Actually, if I'm, I'm, I move it around here, let's move it. So we do want it to go... Actually, there's no much... Uh, there is Chippenham out there, so we may want to go onto Chippenham. 
So we might want it down there. So many decisions to make. I don't want to spend money bulldozing at the moment. So as expected, if I yeah, if I plant it down here, this is. Did I not have it cheaper earlier? Yeah, something like that. That was nice and cheap, but that's going into the hills, which is fine. There is a big tunnel. There is the box tunnel, of course, to the east of Bath. We're not necessarily going to. Okay, let's stick it there. Let's see what happens. And this is a nice long length of track. Now, I do want to put a intermediary station here in Canesham. There is another small station in Canesham as well. Um, should we make it a one track just to save on money? So if I can put that in there, say. So a single line is 189 and two is substantially more. We'll make it a single line. Yeah, the trains will. I'm only going to be able to afford, I think, one train anyway, to be honest. Actually, let's place it here near the industrial area. That makes sense to me. Uh, if we spin it round a bit, will we save any more money? Let's leave it there. Not really, that will do. Okay, let's see if we can put down some tracks. Right. Uh, we're going to go out of Bristol here. I'll change the names of the station once we've actually put the, the tracks in place. Okay. One thing I've discovered when when messing around with the, the game so far is that sometimes i found that the putting in long lengths of track as recommended by the game actually often turns out to be cheaper than doing it in parts because doing it in small sections you can incur extra costs particularly when you're going up and down contours so, actually that's nice and cheap putting a tunnel in there I don't think there is a particular tunnel between uh, Bristol and Canesham, but okay, so. But again, yeah, the game made it cheaper for me there by doing it itself. Okay, let's take that. I'm spending a lot of money. I hope this is worth it. And we need to curve around here. I don't really want bridges, but again. I'm going to have to climb up again to get into Canesham. Three, four, five. Oh, that's not too bad, actually, considering. Okay, let's take that there. That's okay. And we're getting through. Where the heck is Bath? It's so far. Oh, there it is. It's the other side of this road, which will dub the A4, because the A4 does indeed run between Bath, Canesham, and Bristol. That's an awful lot of tunnel. I don't want that much going in there. That's the cheapest I've got. Uh, it'd be nice to come down here, I think, if I can, but we're starting to get expensive again. Going up there is cheaper, but am I going to lose out anything? Oh, no, it looks okay. a little bit of bridge work going on there. Can I avoid that? I'm going quite so far perhaps. You know, it's just, mm. The thing is I know that I've got a lot of bus routes I want to put in. You see it's going to put in this huge tunnel now to get me through this hill which if I just accepted the first offer no nope, that's not going to work for me. So I'm going to have to get rid of that length of track. So that is substantially cheaper. If I go, what if I actually get rid of this piece of road? Will that help level up the terrain so I can put this track in more, more cheaply? I think it does, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, we do need, I think, to come across here somewhere. OK, 
let's put that in there. If we then connect up with Bath, a bit of tunnel under the road. Will that work for me? Am I happy with that? So if I put that in there, we've got a long bit of tunnel. I'm going to accept that. Okay, I might have saved a bit of money there. I wasn't really keeping track of the uh, of the figures. Okay, now I am, as I said, I think only only going to be able to afford one train here anyway. So the fact that's a single track line doesn't worry too much. Okay, let's rename our stations. Make sure I know what we've got. So this, of course, will be if I hit the right button. Bath Spa, not spelt like that. Spelt like that. This little one will be Canesham. Yep, that's fine by me. And of course here, where is it? We have, it's um, it's not actually in St Paul's. Nope. I'm not sure there is a train station anywhere in or close to St Paul's to be honest. Bristol Temple Meads is kind of on the edge of St Paul's if, I, if I've got my Bristol geography correct. Bristol... Oh, my typing, as you can see, hasn't improved since Transport Fever 1, and that's Bristol Temple Meads. Okay, um, yeah, lots of cuts into the landscape, but I am going to need a depot. Where can I put you, which isn't going to cost me an arm and a leg? You look quite cheap there, but I have a suspicion connecting to the track might be more expensive. Nope, we've got to do it anyway. Got to do it. Let's put the track in. Let's connect you up. Oh, that's not too expensive. We don't need you to be too fast. That looks like a good price to me. Excellent. Right. Uh, Shall we set our first route up? A new line. From Bristol Temple Meads to Canesham to Bath Spa, back to Canesham, and that's a lovely little circular, well it's not a circular route, it's an ABC route, ABCB A route, yep, uh, I should give it a name shouldn't I, it's not line one, Bristol Bath, oh I'll call it a main line shall I, because that is, like, oh, I can't smell Bristol, now, this, this is purely just sort of stuff and nonsense, really. Um, but I discovered recently they've been planning to electrify a huge swathe of what was the Great Western Main Line from London through Bristol down to Exeter, down to, to the, uh, the south coast. But um, what we discovered when we were told about those plans was that uh, the actual main line between London and the West actually went through the other station in Bath, Parkway, which is north of Bath, which is which is like north of Bristol. To get the main route from London to Bristol was Bristol Parkway. It didn't go through Bristol Temple Meads. Bristol Temple Meads was kind of an offshoot, which to me, and I, I don't know um, the history of uh, railways particularly well, was, was a bit of a surprise, a bit of a shock. Okay, now this is a piece of road I'm very familiar with. This is the station approach coming up the main road into Bristol up to Temple Meads. It's a bit shorter than that in real life, but what the heck. So we'll place. And there are lots and lots of bus stops here. And there's a big, and a taxi rank and everything. So that will, uh, that's that. Um, and we will have bus routes coming out of there to all over the city. Now I want a main bus station somewhere. It, it is actually... Um, this isn't a, it actually is actually, I think, Brandon Hill. It's kind of around here, uh, I think, really. If I set it up here, will that work? Let's try it, shall we? Actually, let's build that bit of road. So I've got something to play with. It's a medium size. If I click accept and not delete, it sometimes works. Apply, that's it. Done. And 
let's put our now how many platforms do we want on this we will want quite a few I'm just thinking we actually probably want an exit the other way Now there is a mod that I've just discovered on the work workshop which allows you to turn off that connecting piece of road so you can just plonk the, uh, the, the road station as it were for trucks or buses without that piece of connecting road which might be helpful actually in some cases like this because I want an in and out on both sides. I want it to go through. I wonder if I can do that here. Now the question... Let's, let's see let's just see what happens. Um, that's going to cost me 76. Yeah, that's good. Okay, uh, so while we're here, uh, it's not Bristol Branch at all. We'll call it well, bus station because that's what it will be. Uh, let's add. Now, what I discovered, I played around a little bit with bus stations and they don't they, they don't there can be an issue if you have a one way in and a one way out that they turn around in the middle it's a bit odd we may see that in fact I'm sure we will see it um, as we play through um, but I just want to see it in action so we can then sort of decide what plan to take from there we need a bit of road I think a bit more road or street if you will we'll slip you down there although of course it would normally yeah, let's make it straight out like that. Okay, that's good. Right, so we want some more bus stations. Now, we're going to have a route from here. Now, one of the stops at the start on station approach takes you through um, Bristol, up through Brandon Hill, Clifton, that area. So I think we'll do that. We'll have a, some stops here. Uh, we'll have... Should we stop down here? Actually, let's yeah, let's do that. So we'll stop down there, and then Clifton. We'll have a couple of stops. I'm doing them both sides of the road as I usually do, um, just to so I've got the choice of which direction I want my buses to run in, or indeed run them in uh, in both directions. Have a kind of double circle loop. Okay, so we'll create a new line here, which goes from station approach. And it will go here to the centre. It won't go to the bus station. It will go here to Brandon Hill. And then to these two stops in Clifton. And what it can do actually, it can come back here through the grove. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I, I, we won't have it going there. We'll have connecting routes, I think. From Victoria Road. Let's see how that pans out. So I could give this what I think that bus line number is, but that would mean nothing to you. So we'll call this a um, Bristol, Bristol Clifton Local. Although they are, of course, in game terms, two totally separate towns or cities, but uh, that's the way of the world. Okay. So we want a, another line, which will go... Oh, I need more bus stops, don't I? Silly boy. Um, yeah, let's go out Redcliffe Way. If we go out Redcliffe Way, down here, we'll stick a couple of stops down this end as well. Actually, what I want to do, I, I do want to connect those those up, I think, those bits of road here. They just sat there looking at me and annoying me. <laughs> so, can I stick you like that? And how much does that cost? Oh, spending a lot of money. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. We'll see how that uh, impacts on the traffic situation. Let's go back to putting in bus stops. So we've got Redcliffe there. Um... Do we want that to be a simple loop around or come out here? 
Now, we are starting in 1850, so things are going to be slow. Yeah, let's actually, yeah, it does. There is a bus route which does go from the station to Redcliffe, Bedminster, Southfield area. But of course, those are considerably faster diesel buses in 2019. Uh, we could do it with a bit of road there, couldn't we? Ow! Not at 54 grand, you don't? No. Absol no. Absolutely not. Uh, oh, oh, it's on a hill. Did I, sp I spent that, didn't I? Oh, clumsy oaf. It might have been better putting it in there. Cheaper. Oh, well, the job's done now anyway, so I'm going to have to live with it. Why isn't there an undo button in this game? I, I don't want one, to be honest, but sometimes the frustration of your own incompetence gets the better of you. And we'll have a stop there. Okay. So our next line... Uh, actually, we'll have this one starting from the bus station. Oh, I don't want it to go... Oh, no, I don't want it to go that way. We'll change uh, line one in a moment. So from the bus station out here to Redcliffe... Uh, to Bedminster, Southville, and back again. So we'll call this one Bristol Southside Local. I believe that's the correct orientation. Okay, this right, this route here we need to stick um, a waypoint on. So I want that route to go it could go down that way or it could let's let's send it down here actually let's take a couple of waypoints here I don't think I need both but I put them in just in case so on this line we want to go from Victoria Road to that waypoint and from the Grove back to Albert Road. We wanted to go past that waypoint as well. Okay, yep, that works for me. Would it be nice if you could name the streets? We'll have to make do with uh, naming the stops. I spelled it correctly. Well done, that man. Okay, so we have got two lines through our city now. Uh, we want to go into the north. Um, now again, I don't think there's a stop here which goes up north, but I could create one. They tend to go from somewhere near the bus station. So that's what we will do. Some more bus stops, please. There we go. Uh, up into... Kingstown, yeah, we'll come up this way. Uh, is Cottom in the right place there? I'm not sure it is. I have a suspicion these might be the wrong way around. I, say, I, I'm, I go to Bristol quite a lot, um, but my knowledge of the geography of the town is, is kind of limited. Uh, yeah, let's go up there. We'll come around here. Go around here. And now, what might happen is the city might build a road along there, which might be handy. But what we'll do is we will. This is going to be quite a long, complicated route, I think, and we'll come back in that way. Okay. Right, so I have Victoria Road being used on the uh, way out from Temple Meads, so I could create a new line which uses it going in the other direction. So this will start... No, it won't, because it's not going up to the station. So we'll start there. And that way. No, let's take the avenue out. We'll go straight up to Main Road. We'll go around this way. Did I... Take main road out. Uh, oh, no, you plank. Right, why is it going round? I want it to go round that way. Uh, do I... Why is it the avenue twice? Don't go to the avenue twice. That's... Oh, have I got two... I've got two avenues. That... Oh, that's not very good, is it? 
Right, we'll have to rename one of those. There we go. Uh, Bristol Cotton. All local. Uh, again, we need another waypoint. So we'll have you coming down there. Uh, hang on, where is this going? So, Bristol bus station. Why? Why did this? This is all over the shop. Right, that's better. So the avenue to the avenue. Okay. Ooh, this is confusing, it isn't it? Right. Uh, but no, it's what not. It's confusing me because I have the wrong thing highlighted. Oh, this this is a confusion. So after Manor Road, we are going there, which is that avenue. We'll take that avenue out. Okay. So after that avenue, we want to go to there. Right, that's the right way round, but I do need to name the name. Uh, so, oh, I'm not sure what that would be called. <laughs> that road. Should we call it Kingsdown Road? Uh, very nearly. Right, that's better. So we'll add that there. Okay, that's better. Yep, that works for me. Okay, and we haven't got a route to Hot Wells yet, so we need to put one of those in. Again, I think that one will come from from Station Approach. This will be the last line we're putting in for the moment, I think. So from station, of, uh, I need the uh, need the bus stops first, don't I? Anyone would think I'd never played this game before. Um, that's what I could do is stop down here on route. We're we'll going to Hot Wells here. And we'll come out this side of there. And up Brandon Hill. Let's try that. Okay. Right, for the last time in this little session, new line, a station approach to wherever that is, Brandon Hill. There. Oh, it's Hot Wells, it's, it's Hot Wells, isn't it? It's not Brandon Hill. Uh, and then up there. Thank you. Took its time. Uh, there. Can we go to the. Let's. Yeah. Should we go to the bus station? Let's go into the bus station and then back to station approach. Or we could go there. Let's just check. Uh, what's this? This is. Uh, Oh, I'm pressing the B for Bristol key before I actually hit the uh, the edit button. That's the problem. Uh, this was Hot Wells, wasn't it? So Victoria Road here. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yep. So that connects. So Clifton is on the way out, sorry, into the city, and the Hotwells one is on the way out, going back to the station. That's excellent. Okay. Right, I think they will do. So I need a place for a depot for my road vehicles. Let's have a quick look at our land use. All the green area is residential. I don't particularly want to build a depot there. Um, there is one up here somewhere. 
in real life. Again, me saying I'm not, I don't want to do this historically accurately, but it looks like I kind of am a bit. Yeah, let's put one up there in St. Paul's. Uh, that's what we want. Uh, buildings, depot. I'm thinking of, uh, is it Lawrence Hill for those of you who are familiar with the Bristol area? I think there's a, uh, oh, that's expensive. Let's not do it there. I don't want to spend too much money. I'm thinking 16 grand is going to be cheap. Oh, look at it. Yeah. Okay, he's placed now. Excellent. Right, so we have a train depot. We have a road depot. So let's get our vehicles out. Let's get the train done first, actually. Uh, so what trains do we have? We have one. The D13. So we'll add you. Wagons for passengers. We have one. Carries six. Ugh. So that gives me 12 people. Uh, this is the performance. So it's quite nice it's giving you performance here. This is nice and easy to read. Uh, so that's giving me uh, 12, 18. Okay, let's try that. That takes, that's... So I don't want to start replacing this too early. Um, and I, the, the demand for passengers between those three cities, as it were, uh, Bristol, Cainsham and Bath, Cainsham is not a city of course, um, should grow. So that's a capacity of 24. Okay, let's do it. Let's spend that money. And we'll put it on the Bristol Bath main line. Done. Now uh, where's my road depot? Right, how many of these can I buy uh, passengers? Stagecoaches. Can I buy 25? That's six. Ooh, that's, that's taking me nearly down. I can buy 25. How many lines have I got? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I've only got four road lines. That's okay. Oh, I started the game running. Fair enough. Let's pause it then before I run out of money. Um, yeah, let's let's buy uh, twenty four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll go on Bristol Clifton. One, two, three, four. We'll go on the Cotton. One, two, three, four. We'll go on hot wells. One, two, three, four. We'll go on south side. When I've got eight left. Alright, uh, so can I? Actually, what I would like to do, I think, is actually have. Oh, I need bath. I need bath covered as well, don't I? Darn, I quite forgot. Cainsham should be okay, but bath, that's quite a long way from anywhere. Yikes. Ah, darn it. <laughs> right, quickly. Let's build some... Uh, let's build some buildings. Uh, there is actually a bus station near Bath Spa Station, but I'm not going to... How much would that cost? For just uh, two terminals. 60 grand. That's quite a lot. What if I put it down here? Can I make it cheaper anywhere else? Fifty. I'm not happy with that. Actually, that works. Oh, ooh, I can. Fifty. Five, six, I saw. Okay, we'll stick you in there. Right, bus stops. Um, we'll have around there. 
there. Around here. Along there. Well, they, they are quite a long way from the bus stops, but I'm sure they can they can they can walk. Of course they can. Right, uh, we need a depot here as well. Gosh. Press the right keys and stop pressing the wrong ones. How's that going in? That's nice and cheap. Okay, we need a line. From there to there to there to there to there to there. And we'll do it so it goes back around on itself. This isn't terribly efficient, but it should do the trick. So we'll call this the bath spa circle line. Okay. Right, so um, we might miss have might have to miss out. And Bris Kenshin wants buses as well. Okay. I want passenger stops. So we'll have there. You're going to have to turn around in the street, I'm afraid. And there. Okay. That will have to do. So, what we'll do is I will send, where's that depot? Where is that depot? There it is. So we've got four vehicles. It will send three of those. To Canesham. So I've got five left. Uh, so we'll actually sell all those and buy a number from the Baths Road Depot. Four. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll attach you to the Bath Spa Circle. Okay, and the game is off. The chase is afoot. So how's our city doing? Let's speed up a little bit. Our first train is in, and strangely enough, there are no passengers. Meanwhile, all the buses... Oh, actually, I'll turn up. I don't like seeing costs. I don't mind seeing the green numbers where I'm making money, but I don't like costs being shown. They just... They just, um, <laughs> they just highlight the fact that I'm, I'm not winning at this point in the game. Uh, obviously, I've spent a lot of money putting down infrastructure and absolutely nothing on the aesthetics or landscaping to hide my uh, my constructions. So uh, I've made a right mess of the surrounding scenery. All oh, those people waiting up for bus stop bus stops already. Excellent. It's going to take a while for the carriages to come down, though. Uh, nobody there. And in Bath. Excellent. Is anybody riding on my vehicles? Uh, it's not telling me there. It's not telling me there, but it will tell me here. I've got a passenger on the Bath Spa Circle line. That is magnificent. 
Ooh, people queuing up already. 13 people! I can only fit four in one stagecoach. Let's watch our chappy turn up here. He made money! $270! Yes! Right, we're on our way to magnificent profits. Possibly. <laughs> I'm already in debt um, by a substantial amount, almost. Um, the investments here figure is purely from the building the map costs and are not actually part of my accounting. They're just there for a sort of historical record. That I'm not quite sure why they're there. It seems an odd thing to include. Um, but yeah, that's the cost of actually building this map. They don't actually impact on my profitability as a company at all. Right. Okay, so Bath is, is working. Canesham is working. Got a long wait for the um, wagons, I'm afraid, my friends. <laughs> so, um, Bristol is already seriously co co congested. Um, yeah, this, I'm afraid, is Bristol in 2019, and it appears Bristol 1850 is very much the same. I'm going to spend a lot of time looking at congestion and dealing with this. So that's where we're going to start, I think, with the next episode, is looking at anything I can possibly do to alleviate this, because my carriages are going to be stuck in these queues as well. And that impacts on my profitability as a oh as a company. So I've just just noted there are people waiting here for the train. Thirteen already. Right now the train should be really nicely profitable. One thing we've learned so far in playing around with the game is although things cost a lot, buildings and vehicles, the ticket price is quite well balanced and you will earn money. Station approach. Didn't earn any money. Didn't earn any money, but he took somebody away. That's nice. Good. Right, so that's where we're going to leave it today, I think. Um, I'm just going to sit here at this junction and just be so impressed that things haven't changed in over a hundred years <laughs> in Bristol. So, thank you very much for joining me today. hope you've enjoyed this exercise um, in setting up routes in a very congested town centre, city centre. And um, we will see if I can deal with it, if I can cope, if I can take some of these people off their own carriages and into my most luxurious stagecoaches. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2, in the very first episode of Bristol, my Let's Play series, thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you have any thoughts, suggestions, criticisms, recommendations, please do drop a note into the comments box below. It would be great to hear from you. And if you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, here in Transport Fever 2, until the next time, bye-bye for now. <laughs>